And, you know, I was thinking, you know, you were just talking about the player of the game. And I think I think Brian Williams makes a pretty good case for it. I mean, dude is not even 18 years old, and he's already making huge impacts in Tuscaloosa. Loving well, what this kid's bringing out. Well, I'm going to tell you, the biggest thing that he brings is kind of like, I don't know if I want to, um, I've heard comparisons to Mari Cooper and uh, Calvin Ridley. Um, but what he does is when, you know, they're putting those two safeties, playing too deep in the, in the safeties and trying to, you know, run corner on him on the outside. And then now he's able to, to you know, go deep and pull that safety, you know, pull the safety with him on that half of the field. And then now the middle of the field with the tight end is just wide open. Like finally I was just jumping for joy when I saw him throw that pass, you know, to the tight end middle of the field there. Um, in the second half, but that's what he, I mean, he just, he's just drawing attention to, okay, away. And so that frees up somebody else. So it's just, you know, it spreads the wealth for, um, for other people. And then, um, uh, Jeremy, uh, 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 I'm still learning their names. Anyway, he, uh, he's become a good clutch, uh, receiver. Uh, uh, I see Jalen going to him quite, quite a number of times, but freeing up the secondary, drawing attention in the secondary just frees everybody up. And he, I mean, he's doing it, the kid. He's got a motor. He uh, he can stretch a defense, and and that is that's going to open up a lot of a lot of opportunities. Oh yeah, it, it's going to be fun seeing what happens with with yeah, the. Yeah, we haven't had that in a while. I mean, you remember Calvin and, and Amari? You know they did it, and we know the great things you know happened with regard to them uh, with the offense with with them pulling you know double coverage and things of that nature, and and uh, that's what he's bringing to the table. We haven't had that uh, you know somebody out there that just. That 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 type of uh, I mean, just one speed and then the athleticism. Once you you know, once you once you catch it, you know how to how to shake and bake and, and juke and jive and get you know get open. Uh, you know, make people miss. Yeah, I mean that's what you got to do. You got to get it rolling. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm interested. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a very interested first couple of drives. See how um, when he's in the game. I don't know if they're uh, uh, are they starting yet or they bring him in. I think that may be starting him now, but I'm gonna see. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see what they're doing with their safeties on the outside uh, with him. And then what's gonna happen too? If they tr start trying to double him, double team him, then they're gonna start motioning, okay, and moving him across the field back and forth. And then that's gonna be, you know, add a little dynamic there. So I, I you know, that's the thing when you're watching the game with TV, you get to see the middle, of the, you know, the action, the offense, defensive line, stuff like that. But you don't get to see a lot of what's going on in the secondary. That's why I like when I'm, you know, um, at a game, you know, I like being up in the stands and I can see the secondary and see what's going on and how they're rotating. And, and so it's going to be interesting to see that opening two or three drives, what, how they defend him and then Alabama, what Alabama counters with. Yeah. And you know, Kirby being the defensive guy, you know, he's going to be on a, he, and he was there when Amari and those guys were there. He, he, yeah. So it'll be interesting how he's going to defend that. He may not be able to defend it. Well, Bob Adams says the O-line played well with 57 Elijah at right tackle. Yeah, yeah, did. That that worked out uh, well. It did. Yeah. They made mistakes and stuff like that. I think um, if 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 now they have the week off, you know, the practice week, um, I just think that their, their balance, the offensive linemen staying in front of people and um, maintaining the balance and in their hands. They've got to keep their hands inside. They keep – you know, those hands getting around the shoulder and getting to the outside, um, that's going to draw those, uh, you know, those holding penalties and stuff like that. So they got to work more on shattering and keeping their hands, you know, not outside but more inside and um, uh, staying, you know, closer, closer body to body with the uh, defensive linemen. But they're doing, they're, they're doing better, doing better. Seemed oh, a lot yeah. more, been a lot better flow. Wow. Um. I'm looking forward to see what we bring out against Georgia. That that's going to be awesome. Seeing what we do, yeah, defensively and offensively, um, see what we do. But I, I really, um, now Georgia's going to be good on defense. I, I think, um, like I said, I think Ryan Williams is going to bring something to the table there that's going to make him change some things. And then without um, Brock Bowers out there at tight end, I feel a lot better. I think physically up front, um, I think we're we're uh, we're going to match up. Very, very well with uh, uh, Georgia. I think Georgia's going to be quite surprised. Oh, yeah. I think I, it's going to be a lot. I don't know. What, have you seen a spread already? 
No, nah, it's probably it's way too early. My bad. Oh, that's it's another thing. That's what Austin was asking if Alabama's going to be favored in the Georgia game. That's be what After that Kentucky game, look out. I mean, they're, you know, seeds of doubt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Putting that kind of money up on, on uh, Georgia because they laid an egg in that one. That wasn't even funny. And that oh, cost yeah. a lot of people some money, too. <laughs> I bet you Las Vegas wasn't happy with that one. Oh, yeah. It, it'll be interesting to see what happens. 25, yeah. Over, under, what was it? And they, 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 they was 25, 13 and 12. Wow. Who would have thought it? Yeah. yeah. So I, I, it's going to be close. It'll be, well, I'm I'm talking about the spread. I think I think it's going to be close. I wouldn't surprise me. Um, I think, they, you know, they're going to give probably Georgia, since they're, you know, defending and all, all you know, the great uh, preseason and more, they're going to give them benefit of the doubt on the, Kentucky game, but it's going to be a lot closer. And I feel, I feel a really good Alabama's chance with Georgia. Yep. Just win, baby. I love that. I love that. And, you know, to be honest with you, um, Georgia was a better team last year and Alabama won. You know, oh, yeah. Bottom line, they were a better team, but Alabama, you know, so here we go again. Well, and people tend to forget as well that the 2022 National Championship is the only win that Kirby Smart has against Alabama. You know, yeah. Yeah. That's and, what a lot of people have forgotten. Yeah. And then there in the fourth quarter mistakes. Uh, you know, those mistakes, you know, late Bryce Young through that that pick. And uh it, it was yeah, that game was a lot closer. It was close until the end. And you know, they got a couple of late ones there, but but uh it, it'll be the matchup of Titans. I, I kind of like Alabama. And I like what they're doing on defense, too. Don't get me wrong. And um, they're playing uh, – I'm surprised. Other teams are playing, a lot, you know, senior, junior, transfer, you know, a lot of transfer uh, graduate players. But Alabama's playing a lot of freshmen. You look on defense, a lot of freshmen. And then um, Quas, Quas, uh, the player out of Montgomery Carver, Quasi, is he going to be back? Russo? Yeah, he's a redshirt not... freshman. A good, 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 good little ball player right there. I say little. <laughs> oh yeah, good player right there. I hope he's back. I didn't see what the. I know he was injured and he left. I didn't see if it's anything long term or whatever. But then you know they've got those defensive backs and then the punt returns of freshmen. So they uh, play a lot. Of, a lot of young, young, young players. It's exciting to see. Oh yeah. John, what's your final thoughts on the Alabama Crimson Tide this week? And uh, major step forward, major step forward. Um, very, um, especially in that atmosphere up there, away game. Um, I thought they performed very, very well. Cut the mistakes down, penalties, um, good performance all around. Very good. I, I, I would give them. I would give them a ninety, ninety-two. Yeah, you know, which is a lot better than I would have given them, you know, against South Florida uh, in Western Kentucky, but a lot better, a lot of improvement. Once you, once you see the improvement, it, it, it's, um, it's a good thing. And I think they're going, I think they're going to surprise George. I think they're going to surprise a lot of people. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're figuring things out about themselves. And so that's a good thing. And the board seems to be real positive. He's got a good rapport and, um, there's, you know, not a lot of questions with uh, – well, well, there were some questions, but he they're starting to answer them, so we'll see. George will be interesting. It'll set the foot – I mean, it'll set the table uh, for the rest of the season. We'll know what to expect against Texas and Auburn and these other teams, Tennessee. So, 